Hi, this is Jonathan Harris from La Tienda. Today we're going to explain the art of slicing jamón, Spain's excellent cured ham. There are two types of cured hams in Spain, jamón serrano and jamón ibérico, but the method for slicing them is basically the same. A cured ham like this with a bone can be stored in your home for several weeks as long as it's cared for properly. We are fortunate to have a master ham slicer here with us who's going to show you step by step the best methods for slicing your jamón. When you receive your jamón, unwrap it from its plastic so that it can breathe. You can hang your ham or store it in a holder for several weeks as long as it is kept in a cool, dry place. A friend in Spain once told me that a jamón is like a person. It will survive in heat and cold, but it's happiest at around 70 degrees. We recommend that you let your ham rest for at least a day or two before slicing. Once you make the first cut, it's important to cut your ham frequently to keep it in top condition. For best results, you'll need the right tools. A short knife for cutting around the bones, a large knife for cutting away the fat and skin, and a long, flexible knife for cutting the perfect slices. We also use a sharpening steel to keep the knives razor sharp. Ham tongs help you easily move the slices to a plate. For the purposes of slicing, a jamón has three parts. The babilla is the area located on the long straight side of the ham. The other side is called the maza, and the end of the ham is called the punta. The slices from each of these regions have distinct flavors and textures, which I will discuss later. Unless you're planning on slicing the entire jamón in one day, it is best to start slicing with the babilla because there is less protective fat cover on this straight side of the ham. There are a couple of places on the jamón where the bones are near the surface. When you slice down to these areas, you will need to cut around the bones so that you can continue to make thin, even slices. First, take your large knife and make a deep cut into the shank until you hit the bone. This will be followed by a horizontal cut to remove the skin and fat. Continue to remove the fat only from the area where you will begin slicing the ham. Make sure you keep a few large pieces of fat trimmings to cover the jamón when you're not slicing. Begin cutting small, thin slices. It is important to maintain a flat cutting surface as you slice each area of the ham. Angular, uneven cuts will prevent you from getting the most out of your jamón.
Each part of the ham has a distinct flavor and texture. Notice that the slices from the matha are more marbled, whereas the slices from the babilla tend to be leaner. We recommend leaving at least a quarter inch of fat on each slice for you to enjoy its fullest flavor. After each slicing session, cover the exposed surface of the jamón with the reserved fat trimmings and place a cloth over the ham. It is typical to see a small amount of harmless mold on the exposed surface if you do not slice your ham for more than a day or two. Simply discard the first slice and enjoy the fresh ham below. As you continue slicing the matha, or the rounded side of the ham, eventually you will come across a bone near the surface. Simply use the small knife to cut around it. This will allow you to maintain an even surface as you slice near the bone. The third part of the ham you will slice is called the punta, or the end part. You will need to slice that area at an angle, but remember to maintain a flat surface here as well. Once you have sliced all the way down to the bone, there is still plenty of delicious ham to carve. Rotate the ham in the holder to access difficult to slice areas. As you slice hard to reach parts of the ham, cutting will become more challenging. Make sure to be cautious and keep your free hand safely away from the cutting area. But it's an essential part of Spanish cooking. You can use every part of your ham. Add slivers to salads or freshly sauteed vegetables and use chunks of the jamón, the fat, and the bones to lend a rich flavor to A whole jamón is a fantastic centerpiece for any party and a fun way to enjoy this signature Spanish cured ham in your home. We hope this video helps you to make the best of this delicious and iconic Spanish food. Visit our website for cooking ideas and slicing accessories, plus the best selection of Spanish food.